So someone had a question, can a person actually increase their metabolism, okay? Let's talk about that. Well, one of the things that you may have learned in other videos is that insulin resistance is one factor that can cause you to plateau with your weight. So let's say you're trying to lose weight and you hit this set point. You just cannot get below. Like your body's real comfortable at a certain weight. That is because of insulin resistance. There's just too much insulin in the body. And people that are struggling with weight and that are overweight have a lot more insulin in their body because insulin resistance increases the amount of insulin in your body. So in order to fix that, you have to lower insulin with keto and intermittent fasting. Number two, exercise. Now, out of all the parts of exercise, you have duration, how long you exercise, you have the intensity of the exercise, you have the frequency of how often you exercise, you have the recovery of how long you recover after exercise. You have all these variables. Out of all of them, it's the intensity that is the most important factor in raising your metabolism. So then we have exercise, okay? You have several variables. You have duration, how long you exercise, the intensity, how hard you exercise, and you have recovery, how long you don't exercise after exercising, okay? Out of all three of these variables, the intensity is the most important in stimulating your metabolism, okay? It also stimulates growth hormone, which is the, the main fat-burning hormone, and other hormones too, like adrenaline and also uh, glucagon, okay? That, that's a fat-burning hormone. The key is doing a full-body workout where you're involving uh, a lot of muscle groups and doing it at a high intensity level, but doing it at a shorter duration because we want the duration short and we want the recovery longer. So high intensity, short duration, long recovery, okay? So let's say you're gonna work out for 40 minutes. You would do this full body, high intensity, short workout where your pulse rate is really spiked and you're gonna rest until your pulse rate comes all the way down. Do it again for 40 minutes. That would be the ideal scene, but of course work into it and probably use a personal trainer. But the, this is what you need to know, it's the intensity that will trigger and increase your metabolism and your mitochondria, which is the little energy factories in the cell. Number three, you probably destroyed your metabolism from doing a low calorie diet, which is really a low nutrient diet. So to fix it, you need to nourish the body, so consume nutrient dense foods, okay? so. That's a given. You just can't heal the body with low nutrients. It's just impossible. Number four, enhance the thyroid function. So uh, you may need to add sea kelp, which has the iodine and other trace minerals. Uh, selenium is really, really good with Hashimoto's. Uh, but mainly make sure your gallbladder is working and the liver. Make sure that your insulin is not too high. And also avoid the GMO foods, which is really uh, responsible for blocking the thyroid and even creating autoimmune problems with the thyroid, okay? Now, the other thing on the flip side, you have caffeine, amphetamines, ephedra, which all are stimulants to the metabolism, right? So people take them and they go on a diet and they're no longer hungry and they lose all this weight. But the problem, it comes with a package, it stimulates adrenaline. That stimulation ends up burning out adrenaline receptors and the adrenal gland itself. So you end up with adrenal fatigue and then you start gaining weight. So this is not the way you want to lose weight. This is a quick fix which comes with a package. These are the four things to focus on to restore the metabolism and actually increase your metabolic rate. Thanks for watching. Hey, tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and comment below and give me your feedback.